Hi, this is Josh. Today I'm talking about this Hitachi grinder. It's an angle grinder. It's a uh, G12SS, 4.5 inch disc grinder. It's uh, pretty good for what I bought it for. The only thing I don't like about it is that most of the other ones I've had have had the button right here and you just squeeze it and it goes. And this one has this little switcher on the top. And um, here, let me show you. When you get it going, it locks, which that's kind of nice. But I just, I just don't like, I'm used to having a trigger underneath me and I just don't really like this. I mean, it seems like it's worked pretty well for what I've used it for, but it's just, I would think I'd rather have uh, a trigger, which you can, my stuff not, oh, there we go. Like I said, it's a good product. It's, uh, I mean, it served, served me for what I had. It's just a cheap Hitachi. Angle Grinder got it on sale one time with a mail-in rebate, I think at Menards, for like um, around 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. So, um, can't beat it for the price. Do I recommend it? No. I think if I was going to buy one, I'd just go ahead, well, I already have a DeWalt one. But, um, if I was going to buy a quarter one, I'd probably buy something a little more, um, well, first of all, I'd buy one that had a, had a trigger on it. But I, I really don't like it, personally. I just don't really like it. It just seems kind of cheap. Just kind of, the plastic on it seems kind of thin. It just, um, just not real happy with it. Um, just, like I said, just, you know, you, you can tell using when you pick up a tool and it's got, like, nice rubberization, ruggedization on it. You can tell it. It's good quality product. This just feels kind of cheap. And, and it is cheap. I mean, I guess what do you expect for 25 bucks, you know? Um, do I recommend it? No, not really. It's just, I still use it, but I, I, usually I don't really, I don't really like it. I don't like using it. It's not something I enjoy using. It's not something that... And I say, oh, man, I hope I can use that Hitachi grinder today. I mean, it serves its purpose. I don't use it that often. Most of the time I use a cordless. But, um, no, I don't really recommend this Hitachi grinder. I just think it kind of sucks. It just feels kind of cheap. feels like I'm going to drop it and it's going to crack. It just feels kind of low quality. So, no, I do not recommend this Hitachi grinder.